Assalamu alaikum peoples. How are you and how is the fasting? It's been weeks since we last met. I hope you're all staying safe at home and I hope you're also fasting. Okay. Uh, the imagining situation of the COVID-19 pandemic and all the reports around us are creating anxiety for the future and our well-being. In this time, it's most especially important to remember God's promise to us. Um, prayer shouldn't be a last resort, but it should be a promise from our God that He will hear us. So please, let's join hands in praying for those suffering from uh, the coronavirus. May Allah heal every infected person and may Allah bring an end to this uh, pandemic. Okay, welcome to yet another session. As the school has transitioned our face-to-face -face teaching to online models in order to minimize the opportunities for the virus to spread. This lesson is for grade 6 and it's basic science and technology. And today is what? Second of may 2020 and our topic for today is air pressure okay and our subtopic is what applications of air pressure if i now ask what is air i know if L, I mean L, I mean if you watch my video i'm referring to you i know and i will be like auntie 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 before i will say okay and i mean tell me what air is and i will be like air is a colorless odorless and tasteless mixture of gas and i'll be like okay and i mean thank you it's right okay air is what is a colorless odorless and tasteless mixture of gases air consists of um, tiny molecules very small particles that we cannot see that cover the surface of the earth Air is comprised of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen. These are the formula for it. And the remaining 1% is mostly argon and carbon dioxide this is the formula for argon and this is the formula for carbon dioxide okay so now what is air pressure Air pressure is the force exerted by air on an area. It simply was the weight of air. Simply the weight of air. So now, how does air pressure work? Air is pushing on all people and objects with a force of 14.7 pounds per square inch at sea level. Let me write it here. I said air is pushing on all objects with a force of 14.7 pounds per square inch that's at the sea level okay and the higher you go in elevation the less air is pushing down so that means what the air pressure is less but this change won't be that great unless you go very high so now heating air cooling air or causing air to move will what uh, bring about a change in air pressure and these differences in air pressure create wind and make flight possible okay so now when i say applications of air pressure you can see a parachute a kite we have an um, aeroplane wind and birds but the most common example of uh, application of air pressure is what is a kite i have a kite here we all know what a kite is kites have been used for thousands of years they are used for 
uh, military and scientific purposes but nowadays kites are used for leisure and competition okay what is a kite now a kite is an object that is made from a light material stretched over a frame as you can see this is the paper a kite made of paper is stretched over what a broomstick so is what is a, an object made from a light material stretched over a frame and due to its light material a kite can lift up the ground and fly in air when it's tilted into the wind okay and a kite uses wind to make it fly because it is heavier than air when the wind comes into uh, contact comes into contact with the surface of the kite it splits into two streams of air one stream of the air goes above the kite while the second stream goes below the kite um, the upper stream creates an area of low pressure above the kite whereas the lower stream uh, the lower stream creates a, an area of high pressure because what it hits the kite at a shallow angle thereby creating an angle of high pressure and the high pressure area was has a pushing effect that's had it been I was outside and it was windy you will get to see that yes uh, the high, uh, high pressure area has a pushing effect whereas the low pressure area has a cooling effect so this combination of push and pull yeah, will give enough force for the kite to, uh, to fly in air uh, thank you thank you okay so now our homework it's a homework boys i think i'll just make it what your project home fun slash project you are to what construct a kite and fly it thereby explaining how air pressure it's the kite in movement Construct a kite and fly it, thereby explaining how air pressure is the kite to move. Thank you.